so this is just a basic demonstration of, of etching and engraving shapes in Meerkat. So I've, I'm in Inkscape. I've got four shapes. Um, I've used the standard colors, didn't have to, but I have done uh, red, green, red, blue. It's all saved. So if we go into Meerkat, make sure you set your basic classifications. That will set your basic colors. Import the file. Okay, so there's my uh, imports. You can see, because I used the basic colors, it recognized them, so it's put them in automatically. If I wanted to use different colors, I could do. All I have to do is just double click and change the color I want to use to match whatever color um, I'd happen to import. So I can change the speed and the power. So let's say this one's 50%, so that'll be 50% of the 12% that I've set my board or whatever you've set your machine to. Um, let's do this one, so that we can do them with different things. So this one would be, say, 700%. Maybe I wanted this one to go faster, so let's say it was 100. We'll do the cut. I always do the cuts at, um, at 6 at, and 1,000. It knows it's a cut because it was red because that's the basic classifications, but if I wanted that to be an engrave, I just change it or change it back. Uh, I'll just do this one while I'm here. So let's do that one at 200, so 20%, so really fine. Now, if I start my job, you can see I've got engrave, engrave, cut, engrave. This cut here wants to be after these. So all I do is I drag that below that. So they're now in the order that I want them. Okay, so that's the basics, really, of... Um, of using color shapes and engraving with Meerkat. Oh, I should add, if I wanted this here um, to be a cut, I've got two options. I can change it to a cut, okay? So I can cut at a different speed or a different power, but I could just as easy just drag that and drop that in there, and it'll cut it at the same speed and power as it is in there. 